Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Nate Diaz. I hope you guys go like well, it. Enjoy him while he's here, folks, because you never know if this will be the last time we see Nate Diaz in the UFC with a fan base really as big as any fighter in the sport. Diaz is back tonight, and we're glad to see him. Stockton, stand up. <laughs> this guy has a cult following. He is one of the most interesting guys in the UFC because he has this sense that he really doesn't care to be here but he also doesn't feel as comfortable anywhere but in the octagon. So it's a love-hate relationship with fighting for Nate Diaz. When he's happiest, when he's best, he's fighting in the UFC. A guy that boxes, unbelievable, but I think it's the attitude of Nate Diaz that has made him into one of the biggest stars that we've ever seen in the octagon. He had a couple of life-changing paydays against Conor McGregor, the win at UFC 196, the majority decision loss at UFC 202. Which to this day he says he won, right? He thinks he won that <laughs> fight. But one thing goes without saying, and I'll say it anyway, when Nate Diaz fights, the world is watching, and that is the case yet again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California, Nick Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. So here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, we've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when we talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you see... Oh! Over 
Attempts the front kick there. Right, okay, okay. right hand upstairs. I don't know how many times you hit the head and stay in the yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh! And now he's got that tight clinch. Campbell inches right there, boy. Good night if that landed. And they said. Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big left. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh, straight right. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh, he might be out. Wow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Missed for that one. Looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Staying busy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground shots. Yeah, the grounded pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Nice elbow there. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. 90 seconds remain in the round. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. Back to the feet now. Oh! in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Right hand punch to the clinch. Uppercuts right on the chin. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous... And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the Life with Bout between Bruce Lee and Nate Diaz. Thank you guys for watching. knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.